Hello, my name is Jack Smith. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use a micrometer. Micrometers come in many different instruments or uh, increments from uh, 0 to 1 inch, 1 to 2 inches, three to, uh, 2 to 3 inches. We have uh, 0 to 1 inch right here, 2 to 3. And so what I'm going to be using today is the two to three, sorry, the, that's, that's the uh, one to two, and the one we're going to be using today is a two to three. So, this is the micrometer. This U-shaped uh, horseshoe looking thing is the frame. Right here, this little steel bit is the anvil. This little metal bit sticking out right here on the right side is the spindle. This is attached to the barrel assembly. On the barrel, this whole thing is called the barrel, we have the, the uh, sleeve and we have the thimble. On the sleeve, we can see number increments. We zoom in right here. Right here, we have zero, and it goes to 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, and then 1.0. So this is the tenths, and this is the, uh, let's go from tenths to thousandths place. Right here on the thimble, we have uh, thousands place increments. So if I disengage the lock, I'm gonna point at the lock. This is the lock right here. This is the on position, this is the off. I turn this back to zero. This is the zero. Say so you have this, this is the five, so that would be five thousandths of an inch. And lastly, on the sleeve, we have one to nine increments. On the one to nine, let's say you uh, you get a successful measurement. Whatever line corresponds the best with a thimble will be your ten thousandths place. So let's say the seven is the best lined up. You would add tack on to your number uh, seven. Ten thousandths. So, before you even use a micrometer, make sure that uh, you keep it in a clean place. You know, it's very susceptible to breaking from dust or you know, getting inaccurate measurements from dust or wear. So, be very careful with it. You cannot drop it. Uh, it's a very fragile device. Now we have a piston head right here to measure. You want to turn this clockwise, so open it up. Lock on the anvil best that you can. Now, for any piece of work, if you have any irregularities on the surface, you might want to sand it before. Or machine it. So we place it right there. And then we turn counterclockwise to clamp it down. When you hear clicking, it's at the end, engage the lock, pull it off, and bring it to your nut bed. Ready? So, because it's a two to three inch micrometer, three at the maximum, we're gonna write down two. Let me let out. Two, point. Then we look right here. You're always gonna run around to the lowest, so nine is not clearly visible. So we're gonna go with uh, eight, say point eight seven five. Point eight seven. Now right here, we're gonna round to the lowest again. So the thimble it indicates uh, we're always gonna go to lowest. So this one is higher. This one's the lower one because it's lower than our main line. So we're gonna go with 20. This goes to 0 0.02, right? It's because it's a 20 or it has two digits, it's gonna go to the uh, hundreds place instead of the thousands place. Now, lastly, you're gonna wanna turn your thing around and search for the uh, best correspondence with any lines. So it's not nine, or it's not zero, not nine. Not eight, not seven, not six, not five.
I'm not four. Looks like it is three. So three best corresponds. So we're gonna write this is the ten thousandth place. So I'm gonna write zero point zero 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 three. So when we add all these together, we get two point eight nine five three and you're going to want to make sure to measure multiple times just to get a accurate measurement sometimes you can get separate measurements or slightly off measurements and depending on your variance or the threshold of the difference for what you need in your uh engine or your whatever you're working on uh you can get away with that but it's important to measure multiple times just to get the most accurate measurement you can all right thank you for watching